Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be practicing writing um, about movies. Uh, so we're going to wait for some people to join right now, and then we'll get started. Hey guys. Hey Jay, Mika, Roberto. Hey Joe. How's it going? Good, and what about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Just woke up about a half an hour ago. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, well, we'll get started. So, hi guys, my name's Joe. Today we're going to be practicing our writing skills, um, trying to work on our grammar a little bit through writing about movies. Um, however, before we get started, I'd like everybody to introduce themselves by saying your name, your country, and one way that you're helping yourself um, learn English other than using Verbling. So I'll go first. My name is Joe. I'm from Arizona, from the United States. And one way that I'm helping myself learn Portuguese other than using Verbling is by deleting all of the music on my iPod and only putting Portuguese songs on there. So that's one way I'm, I'm helping myself learn Portuguese and kind of immersing myself. So we'll start from the very left with Carlos. Carlos, are you there? Yep. I'm Carlos. I'm from Spain. And I help me mm, improving my English uh, with songs, too, and mm -hmm. reading the lyrics on the internet. OK, good. Translating them. Good, that's really good. And do you think that helps? Yeah, I I don't. Awesome. In Berlin too. Yeah, of course. Good. All right. Um, uh, Burs Burku, Burku is that how you pronounce your name? Hello. Do you have a microphone? I. I think we get it. I my name is Jean-Marc. I come back. Uh, I'm from France. From France, okay. And okay. I'm going. And I'm going to London in four months. Of three weeks. I'm, I am here for learn my English. You wait. You're going. You're here to learn English. Good. What are you going to do? London. In, um, in I'm not up here. Oh, you're Look going to London. London. Okay. okay, cool. Awesome. And your name is Jean Marc? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Welcome. Uh, Julian, nice to see you again. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, sorry, uh, Joe, can you repeat me the question? Yeah. Your name? country okay. and one way that like something that you're doing to help yourself learn English other than coming to these classes and using Verbling. I, I don't understand you. Okay. Um, so like for example, um, I'm learning Portuguese and so instead of only going on Verbling, I'm doing other things. Like for example, um, I'm going to delete all of the music on my phone and only put Portuguese music on there. So that's going to help me because it's going to improve my listening with the language. So it'll improve my comprehension because I'm going to look up the lyrics and then um, try and figure out what the meaning of the song is. And it's just going to help me as far as listening to Portuguese and recognizing words and stuff like that. Okay, you, your question is why I am studying English? No, my question is um, what are you doing that is similar to what I'm doing to help you learn English? So like learning, like coming uh, to these classes is one way. What's another way? Uh, okay, another way is I'm, 
I'm going to lesson with a with a teacher and, mm -hmm. and I see series she, she on the internet. Oh, okay, so you practice with her like outside of Verbling? Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Good. All right. That's good, Julian. Good. Okay, Jay? Hi. Uh, I'm Jeremy from uh, France. And uh, I, uh, I look movie and I read a book uh, in English for, for try me to, to learn English. Good. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, Mika? Yeah, um, I'm Michaela. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, for me, a way of improving my English is to see, to watch um, TV, TV shows or soap operas, like Friends. Uh, yeah, also to read. It's very important. Good. That's, yeah, reading is definitely, it's really important, and it'll help a lot. Yeah. Good. Uh, Roberto? Hi. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Roberto. Uh, I am from El Salvador, and I like to watch movies in English mm -hmm. to improve my listening. And I like to read articles on the internet and to talk in English with my with my friends. Awesome. Those are those are all really good ways to help you um, kind of immerse yourself and practice English outside of Verbal. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, we have two more. Andri. Andri. Uh, yes, uh, I am Andri. All right. Hello. Uh, where are you from? And what is another way that you are helping yourself learn English besides coming to these classes and using Verbling? Um, Joy, I am from uh, Ukraine. Okay. Um, and then the other question is, so for me, um, I use Verbling. That's one way. Another way is I listen to music in Portuguese. So what's another way for you that you learn English or help yourself learn English? Yes, I... Um, very like uh, English music, uh, for example, uh, Whitney Houston and uh, <laughs> Mariah Carey. And oh, okay. Other singers. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. All right, awesome, Andrew. Well, welcome. Um, okay, we have um, two. Uh, we have two more. Mm -hmm. Bur Burku, are you there? Yes. Do you have a microphone? Yes. No, sorry, not Jean-Marc. Um, right to the left, uh, Burku. We can't hear you. Your microphone. Okay. She's gonna try and fix that. Um, Samir, did we? Did you already Hello. talk? Hello. Hello. Hello, Samir. Hello. Yes, I'm Samir. I'm living in Damascus, uh, Syria. Uh, what I'm doing to practice English uh -huh. uh, besides verb playing is reading a lot but what I need is to practice conversation yes practice conversation good that's really good that you recognize what you need to practice but that's also yeah. good that you practice reading okay, okay. good um, okay Burku are you there Bonjour. okay bonjour <laughs> yes bonjour I am from Turkey. Okay. My name is Burcu. How do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce your name again? Burcu. 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 Okay. Burcu. Yes, Burcu. Okay. I'm from Turkey. Okay. What that? And then the other question is, what's another way that you're practicing English? In Verbling? Uh, no, outside of Verbling. Mm. I listen to music. Listen to music. Okay, good. Yeah, That's really good. 
All right, well, welcome, Burju. Welcome, everybody. Um, so like I said, today we're going to practice writing, which is going to improve our grammar. Um, <clears throat> and the way we're going to do that is I'm going to open up a document. Um, so if you guys are watching on the side, you guys will be able to participate too. But what we're going to do is um, I'm going to write some questions related to movies. Um, because movies is just the general theme that we're going to focus on today and what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to write responses to the questions and if you finish early then what you're going to want to do is go down and look at everybody else's responses and try and help them find errors in their writing grammatical errors or anything um, and you're going to highlight them and then afterwards we're all going to go over them together and correct those errors so that everybody can learn from everybody else's mistakes and your own mistakes um, so here I'm gonna pull up the document real quick um, and then we will get started does anybody have any questions? no, no questions okay no questions good <laughs> All right, here's the link. So I'm going to put it in the Verbling chat and also the Google chat. So there's in the Verbling chat. Anybody that is watching this or that is in the actual classroom is allowed to write. So even if you're not in the classroom, you're allowed to write. Okay, so click on that. I'm going to pull it up on my screen. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, I didn't understand. What shall we write about? Anything? No, so I'm going to write a question. Yeah. And then you guys are going to answer it. Okay. Yes, it is my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, movies is our topic. So I'm going to write the first question. Um, it looks like all of you guys are here. So you guys are going to write your responses below mine. Um, so the first question is what was the name of the last movie that you saw in theaters and who did you see it with so go ahead answer this question um, write your name by your response and after you finish look around to see if anybody else is finishing up as well and try and correct anything that you see that's wrong but if you don't see anything that that's wrong then that's fine um, but use complete sentences capital letters to start sentences and periods and uh, after that we'll look at them so I'll give you guys about a minute or two Do you have a question? Yes, I am. Okay. What's your, yeah? What's your question? I don't know where I will write the answer. Okay. So, um, if you look at my screen, um, so I'm gonna paste the link one more time. Here, here it is. This link on the right in the verbling chat. If you click oh. on it, it'll open a document that looks like this. Yeah, so so like I said, um, if you finish early, just go ahead and scroll down and see if you see any errors in anybody else's and try and help them out. Try and highlight it, maybe write a comment. Um, <coughs> so this that way you can um, recognize, start to recognize grammar errors and... Uh, help each other out. Hmm. 
So I'll give you guys about one more minute, two more minutes. It is nine in the morning in Arizona. Uh, it's actually it's eight fifteen. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little early. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go down and start correcting them. So make sure you put your name by them, and uh, that way we know whose is whose. Like this one, whoever saw the Hobbit, we don't know who that. Is. Okay, there we go. Carlos, good. Okay, so the question was, what was the name of the last movie you saw in theaters, and who did you see it with? So, Roberto, the last movie I saw in theaters was Batman, The Dark Knight Rises, um, and I watched it with a friend of mine. Perfect. Um, now here, I'm trying to think of the the correct way. Usually, I think you put movies in quotation marks. <clears throat> I think you could also put it in italics. So you could do this too. Um, I think that that actually looks better. Um, so that's just nobody probably knew that, but um, I'm not going to correct all of them like that. But that's what you can do. Um, Carlos, the last movie I have seen was uh, The Hobbit: An Unexpected Journey, and I went to the cinema with my sister. We had a lot of fun. Good. Uh, so one thing. Uh, the part where we, we had a lot of fun, I think that's going to be a new sentence. Um, that's probably going to sound the best or look the best. Okay. And then here you wrote, I have seen. You could, I think it sounds m more correct to say, I saw. Like the last movie I've, I've seen. I mean, you like I have seen, like you said it correctly, I have seen. All of that's good. But I think the more appropriate tense would be, I saw. Okay. The problem is in the Spanish we we said it with I've yeah seen. yeah I know I know yeah, yeah. I understand <laughs> okay That's well funny. I think yeah so I think you're gonna say it that way That's good. just gonna sound the the most natural okay otherwise good job um Andre I saw Skyfall with my girlfriend um in the last Christmas so here you're gonna say um. Here you could just, you don't need to say last Christmas, because if you say Christmas, then we know you're referring to a month ago, because it was so recent. So you could say, just, um, we'll take out this, and we'll just say, on Christmas. So I saw Skyfall with my girlfriend on Christmas. Perfect, Andre. Uh The last movie that I watched in theaters was The Impossible, and it was really sad, but at the same time, I liked the fact that it was a story with a happy ending, in a way. Good. I went with one of my cousins. Perfect, Mika. Oh, cool. Um, I think you might put a comma here, because you're saying it was a story with a happy ending, comma, in a way. It's like, in a way. So it's kind of like an extra thing you add in. Otherwise, good job. Um, um, my last movie that I watch is not a movie, movies, but a series. The Mentalist with Simon Baker, single in my bed. If anyone wants to watch tonight in my bed with me, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jay, good. Um, so here you're going to say, um, we're just going to say the last movie, mm -hmm. and then instead of what, we're going to say that. So sometimes people get those mixed up uh, that I watched, so past tense, past tense. Okay. Uh, and then this too was not a movie, perfect, whoever corrected that, was not a movie, but a series. Um, so you don't need the accent over the e, but that might have that might have been your keyboard. I don't know. Um, was it? But a series with Simon Baker, um, single in my bed. If anyone was so here, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the extra comment in the parentheses. Perfect. Good. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Um, Julian. Thank you. Yeah. Good job, Jay. Uh, Julian. Uh, so here, this is not a complete sentence. So the last movie you saw was Untouchable with your girlfriend. Good. But here we got to say what you did. So the last movie, this is the, this is just like the basic way you could say it. The last movie, oops, 
um, that I saw in theaters was Untouchable. And so we're going to capitalize it because it's the name of the movie. And then we're going to say, with my girlfriend, period. Perfect. <clears throat> uh, Diego, the last movie I watched in theaters was Big Breaking Dawn. I saw it with my girlfriend. And then we're going to put a period here. It's about vampires. Actually, comma, I didn't want to go because I like deeper movies. That movie, um, we could say, was superficial. Or is superficial. Both both are correct. I'm going to put both. Is slash was superficial. I like to make deeper movies. Um, and then we could say that movie was superficial. Otherwise, good job, Diego. Uh, bonjour. Uh, did you finish yours or did it get erased? Okay, maybe she left. Um, Samir, I do not go... I do not yes. go Okay, thanks. I do not go to cinema too much, as I remember the last movie that I watched was before 12 years. Oh my gosh. The movie was Braveheart, which is a fantastic movie that shows how much is important to fight for your freedom. I watched the movie with my friend. We enjoyed watching the film, and it was a very nice evening. Good. <clears throat> okay, so a few things. I do not do, I do not go to cinema um, here. Instead of saying too, too much... Too much. Uh, here, instead of that, it'd be better to say very often. Because, like, yes. th this is, like, an act you do, and you can do it, like, seldomly okay. or oftenly. Um, and we can say, and then we'll put a period here and start, because this is a new thought, a new sentence. As I remember, comma, the last movie that I watched was... Um, here, instead of saying before 12 years, um, <clears throat> in English, the way we say it is like... Well, um, 12 years ago. Perfect. Thank you, whoever said that. Mm -hmm. 12 uh, years Samir. ago. <laughs> Samir. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Samir. <laughs> okay, good. Correcting yourself. That's good. Uh, the movie was Braveheart. And then we'll, since we're saying which, we can put a comma, which is a fantastic yes. movie that shows us how much... or. Here we're going to take out how much, we're going to say how, how important, and yes. then it is. So that word order can be a little bit confusing. How um, important it is. Yes. Perfect. How important it is to fight for your freedom. Perfect. I watched the movie with a friend, uh, period, and then we enjoyed watching the film, and it was a very nice evening. Perfect. Thanks. Okay, good. I think that's it. Um, does anybody have any questions about... Anything I corrected, or anything somebody else wrote, or um, anything at all? Anything at all? Hey, yo! I think that is something wrong with the with Google because I wrote more. Oh, did you wait? Who? Me, Diego. Oh, Diego, you wrote more than this? Yeah, but Google didn't say that. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sometimes Google, like it. It messes up, like there's an error, and so then you have to refresh the page and it gets erased. So um, if you want, when you're writing it, you can double check, and I'll tell you uh, exactly what you wrote, um, so that way you know if it got erased or not. So okay. we'll, do, we'll do that for the next question. Okay, so next question. Good, okay, so that was just an easy question. So now, um, next question. Write a summary... A, hold on, a brief summary of the movie you last saw. So, the movie you wrote about um, in the last sentence. So here, I want you guys to write a brief summary of the movie you last saw. So, um, it's just going to be the movie that you mentioned above. So Samir will write about Braveheart, Diego, Breaking Dawn, Julian, Untouchable. So write a brief summary about that below this. And um, same thing, if you finish early, look for somebody else's and try and give them... Oh no, okay, hold on guys. It says reload, okay. Yep. So let, let's see. Okay, here we go, now it's working. So go ahead, write your response. Um, and then afterwards, uh, if you finish early, try and look at somebody else's and see if you see anything that can be corrected. And 
try and highlight it for them or write in parentheses a comment or just just try and see if, if you can um, use somebody else's to help you improve yours so if you think there's something wrong with yours look at somebody else's and try and double check um, don't say the, the end of the movie please <laughs> what was that don't don't say the end Yes, movie. don't say, yeah, guys, don't say the end of the movie. Just say, um, like, a brief summary, like, the idea of, like, what's the movie about? So if I were to go see Breaking Dawn, what should I expect? What's it about? Or, um, The Impossible, what should I expect? And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like you guys are all still working. Good job. Um, but yeah, like like Jay said, try not to give away the ending. Just kind of an overview. Uh, another word that they might use in like movie terms is called a synopsis. So I'm gonna write that for you guys. Um, you don't need to include it, but I'm just gonna let you guys know. Syn synopsis. I spelled. There we go. Synopsis. How to summarize the Hobbit? Oh my god! <laughs> Three hours of, of <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I've I've heard it's a really good movie though. <laughs> and 
And so y usually, when you're when you're uh, writing about a movie, pretty sure you're gonna always write it in simple present. So, like for example, um, uh, what was the last movie that I saw? Zero Dark Thirty is about um, the U.S. military that goes into Pakistan and does this and does that. So usually, when you're speaking about it, writing about it, you're going to write in present, simple present. Just another thing to keep in mind. So if you finished, if you have finished, then please look around and see if you can find any, um, see if you can find, like, some errors or, or um, some places in somebody else's response where they can improve their writing, um, maybe s something they missed. I'll just go ahead and highlight it for them so they can see you changing it. Um, that way it'll help you uh, just remember those kind of grammatical uh, rules and then it'll also help them learn how to write properly and use the correct grammar. Anybody finished? Mika, Carlos, are you guys done? Mm, yes, I'm, I'm finishing. Okay, Carlos, can you, um, can you and Mika and anybody else that's finished, can you guys just scroll down and see if you can find any, um, any errors? Because you guys have pretty good, uh, writing skills. So, if you guys can help those who who may need help or um, who may not know grammar as well. So if you guys could just look at the other responses and highlight anything that you see that uh, should be changed. Okay. So. Oh, Jay, you forgot. You forgot a T. <laughs> here, here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Adri. Sean Mark. Yes. Uh, are you, do you have the document open? No, is it, I'm sorry, I have for them. Yes, now it's, it's open. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now it's uh, it's alright. Sunset, the last movie that I I have what to write oh. in telling the story of a young man <laughs> who is trying to live normally. Okay. Marry and have children. What's the name of the movie? Uh, the photo movie of Berami. Can you can you write the name on Verbling chat? Okay, 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 okay. The So it looks like most of you guys are finished, so uh, go ahead, double check yours or somebody else's, see if you can find anything that should be looked at another time. Um, go ahead, highlight it. Um, and then in about two minutes, uh, we'll, we'll go over this. So if you're still working, don't worry about that. Um, and then... Uh, <clears throat> we'll start correcting them.
So I'm I'm searching some names of the of the movie because in the Spanish they they have uh, different names. So. Oh, okay, okay. Like yeah, the one ring or something. Like that. Yeah, don't worry too much about that. If if you have different names, that's totally fine. Um, I haven't seen the the Hobbit yet, so I don't know all the correct <laughs> names. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first one with Mika's, and then move my way down. So if you're still writing, keep writing. Um, if you are not writing, um, just watch and listen, and that way you can see any anything I correct on Mika's and um, the things below. Uh, so we'll get started with Mika's. The last movie that I saw was based on the tragedy day uh, when the tsunami that took place in Indonesia. And the 2006 ended with a lot of lives. Even though it's an extremely sad story, this movie ends up being very nice. I liked it because it shows you the good side of the k k Kaddish... How do you pronounce that word? Um, k catastrophe? Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Mm -hmm. catastrophe, thank you. Catastrophe. Um, good. Uh, so one thing here, we're just going to say in 2006 instead of in the 2006. You don't need to say the... Um, even though it's an extremely sad story, the movie ends up being very. Um, here we're gonna since we're putting um, the movie ends up being, uh, so we're gonna put the opposite of sad. So being ends up being very happy. Okay. That's just that just sounds better. You could say nice. Um, it makes sense, um, but like happy sounds better. I'm sorry. I saw the trailer. It's really sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I want to see that movie. And what's it called, Mika? The Impossible. The Impossible. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna write that real quick. Good. Okay. Uh, good job, Mika. Uh, Diego, Breaking Dawn is the last movie that's Twilight Saga, and then here we're gonna put a period. So I think I think you you sometimes get the periods and the commas mixed up, Diego, because um, I've noticed that happens to you a lot. Because you capitalize this letter, which was correct, you just put a comma instead of a period. It's about how Colin, um, Colin clan have to fight to protect Edward and Bella, daughter, which is in danger to be mur murdered. In the movie, the main characters try to ask for help to their friends. They all come all around the world, and have, after a huge fight and some false deads they beat the enemy at the end it finished as a typical movie they live happy forever good okay so a few things it's about how the here instead of saying um just clan we say colon clan so we're being specific so we need the the colon clan it's about how the colon clan and that's singular how the colon clan have to oh wait hold on the colon clan has ah. to fight have to fight it's about how the Colin clan have to fight to protect Edward and Bella. Here, are you saying Bella's daughter? Like the daughter oh, yeah. of... Okay, so we're going to say, um, we're going to add um, possess possession with the apostrophe S, Bella's daughter. Which, uh, and then here it's a person, so we're going to say, who is in danger of being murdered? Danger of being murdered. Um, in the movie, the main characters try to ask for help. Um, here we're going to say from their friends. It might be confusing because in Spanish you say like to, but here in English we say from. Like, I need help from my mom. I need help from you. I need help from my dad. Uh, they all come around. They all come from um, all around the world. And after a huge fight and some false deeds or deads, I think it's deeds. Deeds. Okay. False deeds. They beat the enemy. At the end, it finishes, present tense, um, as, or you could also say like, a typical movie. They live happily, here an, a common phrase is happily ever after. Yeah. Otherwise, good job, Diego. And I spelled hey, finishes wrong. My yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, P.S. P.S. My girlfriend cried. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> good. Okay, good job, Diego. All right, Carlos. The last movie I saw was The Hobbit. In this, and then we're gonna put a period because this is a new thought. Um, okay. 
in this movie, comma, the Hobbit Bilbo Bolson. Um, so here we're saying the Hobbit, and then we're adding more information about him. So we're going to put that information in commas. Um, okay. The Hobbit, Bilbo Bolson, is accompanied by the wizard Gandalf and 13 dwarves. Period. Good. Um, they embark on a journey through the land of elves and trolls, from the dungeons of the orcs to the lonely mountain where Samug the dragon lives and is hiding the dwarves. Uh, so here, I think dwarves is, is not capitalized. Dwarves. Oh, yes, yes. Or is it? No, wait, no, I don't... Yeah, you, you have reason, so... <laughs> okay, okay. Is hiding the dwarves. So here, uh, good, it's possession. Or actually, it's more than one dwarf, so we put the apostrophe after. Dwarves most appreciated treasure. Good. Finally, in the depths of the earth is the one ring. So here, I don't think we need to capitalize one ring. Um, okay. Because unless it was like a specific ring, like if it was called like, like, um, I don't know, uh, unless it was called like the beauty or something, then we would capitalize beauty, but it's just one ring. It's There's no specific name. Um, and uh, so here, a hypnotic object that will subsequently cause many battles in Middle Middle Earth. I don't know. We'll capitalize that. I think you're supposed to. Uh, period. And then so, Bilbo has the key to solve. And then here, more than one problem. So it's these problems. He doesn't know it yet. Um, right. So we'll put a period. Uh, he doesn't know it yet, but he will. Good. Perfect, Carlos. Good job. Thank you. Um, okay. Jay, so this part of the series, The Mentalist talks, because we're just saying this part. Even though series is plural, we're talking about this part um, talks. So does that, that make sense, sense Jay? Okay, so this, yes. this is singular, and mm -hmm. of the series, is, is kind of like an adjective, like mm -hmm. an adjective -o clause. Um, talks about a murder. The victim has steal the ring of Cleopatra in London Museum, but we don't know why, is dead, and the CBI investigate in this murder. Good, okay. So this part of the series talks about a murder. Um, okay. And, and then here we can say where the victim um, has... So it's it's a victim, so it's singular. So has, and then here we're going to put the participle, so stolen. Has stolen the ring of Cleopatra from, because it used to be in the London Museum, from uh, the London Museum, because we're being specific. But we don't know why. And then she is dead? Or why she died? Did she die? Uh, yeah. No, it's a, it's a man. Oh, okay, why he died. So who? The victim? Oh, the victim. Okay. Why he died. Okay. And the CBI investigates. Uh, here we don't need in. We could just say investigates this murder. Okay. Otherwise, good job. And Cleopatra, good. Okay. Good job, Jay. Uh-huh. Um, okay. And the, uh, the movie Skyfall about Agent 007. Uh, Agent Agent 007 is a Superman, James Bond, because he saved the world of terroristic attack. In this movie, many scenes about explosions. In this Skyfall, secret agent 007 is much traveling on the world. Okay, so a few things here. So here, the movie. We don't need to ask because it's one movie. The movie Skyfall, and then we need a, a verb is about um, Agent 007. Um, Agent 007 is Superman. Um, Understand? Uh, so here we're going to say, we could take out Superman and just say James Bond. Is James Bond. Um, and he saves the world. Um, so we're saving it from terrorists' attacks. So that's the correct spelling of it. So somebody highlighted it. Good job. From the the terrorist attacks in this movie, um, um, there are. So we need that. We need the verb. There are many scenes yes. about explosions. Um, then we could also say, since we already said in the Skyfall, we know that you're talking about that, that movie. So we can say, also, comma, uh, secret 
Agent 007 um, travels travels um, around the world a lot. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good job, Andri. Okay, Roberto, back, Batman the Dark Knight Rises shows, you could also say tells, uh, both work, uh, nice. shows, tells the story about Gotham City being overwhelmed um, by a new terrorist called Bane. This, or here, is where Bruce Wayne, um, I think here probably sounds better, here, um, then we can just take out, we can just say, here, Bruce Wayne does this. So here, Bruce Wayne, after being hidden, um, hidden, oops, two, two Ds, after being hidden from the city for eight years, returns to protect the city um, as the Batman. So here you don't need to say Batman, or you don't need to say the, so whoever highlighted that, good job. Um, it's not necessary because... Uh, Batman is kind of like a name, so we could also say, like, to protect the city as John, to protect the city as Superman, to protect the city as Iron Man. You just, that's the way you do it, because it's the name. Uh, okay. It is an interesting movie because it shows how Bruce Wayne deals with his psychological and personal problems. Finally, he manages to overcome all his problems to protect Gotham with the help of the cops, uh, Blake and Commissioner, or Commissioner Gordon. Good job, Roberto. Good. Good uh, synopsis. Uh -huh. uh, Julian, Untouchable is a movie about a guy um, that is sick. He can't move his legs, uh, ne neither his arms, but this guy is very rich and needs to hire a person that can take care of him. He hires a guy that doesn't have any idea about taking care of another person, so I've added that. Good job. Um, but in but in otherwise that guy teaches him other life good okay good job julian a few things untouchables is a movie about a guy that is sick he can't move his legs nor so instead of saying neither we're going to say nor his arms um um but this guy is very rich and needs so we're going to add a comma here and needs to hire a person that can take care of him good um, so yeah, if you have an extra space, so backspace, uh, he hires a guy that doesn't have any idea about taking care of another person. Um, so good job, whoever added that, taking care of another person. Uh, but in, but... Uh, so here, but in otherwise, that guy teaches him an uh, other life. So here we're going to change this a little bit. So we're going to end the sentence here, and we're going to say, um, however, so like, kind of like, however, uh, that guy teaches him um, uh, what it is like to have the other life. So other life as in like not being rich, I'm assuming, right? Like the, the poor life, kind of, right? Julian? Okay. Good. Okay. Good job, Julian. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, okay. Ingrid. Uh, the last movie that I've, that I've watched in theaters was a Brazilian comedy called De Pernas. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, por Pro Art. It's talk about a girl and her workaholic life. She's the owner of a sex shop and she's opening a branch in New York. She ends up getting sick and forgetting to live. Good. Um, so whoever's adding that, uh, instead of saying, there you go, perfect, it's about. Thank you whoever added that. Uh, the last movie, can somebody move their cursor? I can't see this word. Whoever, whoever just edited that, I can't see. Um, okay, thank you. There we go. The last movie that I watched in theaters was a Brazilian comedy. So we're going to capitalize Brazilian because you capitalize American, Spanish, Brazilian, Mexican, all of that. You always capitalize that. Um, it's about a girl and her workaholic life. She's a, 
she is here we're going to say an owner because this is a vowel so we need to say an an owner of a sex shop and she's opening a branch in new york she ends up getting sick and forgetting to live perfect ingrid okay last year some years the last movie that i watched have watched watched you can say both of them um but watched sounds more uh, natural so the last movie that i watched was so since this is past tense this has to be past yeah. tense um, and then we're going to put a period. It uh, it tells the story of a young man who's trying to live a normal life. Um, here we could say get married. Get married yeah, and have children. To marry? To marry, yeah. Uh, who's trying to live a normal life. To marry. Um, trying to live a normal life. Yeah, you could say the way that I would put it would be this. Um, to marry and have children. Most people say get married, like that's just yeah. the way we say it in English, so it sounds the most natural, like I never say to marry, but you can say it, so whoever uh, just said that, yeah, you could say to marry, good. Um, and then here, um, I've said this before, I, I was always taught not to start a sentence with but, another word you could use instead is however, however, he finds that no one can live a normal life without his freedom. Um, Without his, his wife gets killed by the occupation forces, so he finds himself the leader of a revolution which he did not start. Okay, so this is a little confusing. So he finds that no one can live a normal life without, um, without freedom. So I know when you put his, I know you were referring to like, um, like anybody in general, but here we could just say without freedom, and then we'll put a period. So whoever highlighted that, good. Um, his wife gets killed by the occupation forces. Um, so he finds himself the leader of a revolution, which he did not start. Um, so here we could say, revolution started by, um, I don't know, you could be specific and say like started by John, or started by this guy who cares about this, but here we, since, uh, we're not, since you didn't write it, we could just put started by someone else. Otherwise, good job, Samir. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Okay. So we have about eight minutes left. So does anybody have any questions before we move on? No. Okay. So um, if oh, you sorry, got I, I have a questions. Uh, what does it mean? Occupation forces in last yeah. uh, sentence. Uh, why Samir? Samir. Samir, can you explain that? Occupation, occupation forces. forces what, yes. what does that mean okay. exactly? Okay. Uh, the occupation forces means the. Uh, forces that occupy some lands or your lands. Oh, yeah. Okay, but so let's. I don't have many vocabularies anonymous, okay. so I can explain it for you. But uh, yes. Okay, Samir, that's that's good. No, I mean it's it's better than writing it in your native language. If if you don't know the words, you know, use the words that you do know and try and put it together. So, let's try and think, guys. Mm. What do you think? The voc what do you what words do you think he was looking for? Gets killed by the occupation forces. So, people that occupy land. Yes, yeah, mili mm -hmm. soldiers. Or it could be could be like military. It could be um, mm -hmm. it could be the bank. Like like back in the old days in the United States, a lot of banks owned a lot Maria. of land. Mm -hmm. uh, what was like that, Jay? Band. Like a real band, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Invaders. Meters? Yeah. Meters. What do you mean meters? Can you write the word? Like this? Meters? Um uh, Okay, I don't know what word you're saying. Um I think he mean I think he mean uh invaders or something like that. Yeah, um Samir, can you maybe Invaders. Okay, okay. Um, mm -hmm. It could be invaders. Yes, that's invaders. true. Invaders. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's the word, Samir. Yes, that is. He gets killed by the. Um, we could say like <clears throat> invaders. Kind of sounds like aliens, though. I'm trying to think. What's a word? Um, can anybody else think of like a word other word than invaders? Invaders uh, is close. 
I didn't understand, uh, please. What is the wrong of uh, using occupation forces? Mm -hmm. Occupation forces. So, like, coming from a native speaker, when I think of when you say occupation forces, mm -hmm. occupation is another word for job or career. So like somebody might say, "What's your occupation?" Oh, I work at the bank. Oh, what's your what? Uh, what's your what kind of what's your occupation? Is like what kind of job do you have? And then forces yeah. is good. So here it might say like he gets killed by the forces um, that occupy his land or the land where he lives. Yeah, I I understand. I get it. Yeah. So occupy is good. Occupation is like mm. job. So. Um, I think well, instead of using one word like invaders, we could just say his wife gets killed by the forces that occupy the land. Oh, but I think it's it's correct. So it's correct. Yeah, see this link. You have okay. To see this link, please. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna open this up real quick. Yeah. Oops. In word reference, compound forms. All right, let's see. Yeah, occupation uh. force. That means in Spanish. Okay, so in Spanish, okay, um, so occupation by the military. So here we would say like um, mm -hmm. gets killed by the um, by the. So here it's going to be kind of different. I mean, um, like I understand what you're saying about the Spanish, um, but here, like in English, we would say his wife gets killed by the um, military that occupies the land. The mil military that occupies um, their land. So I'm trying to think of like cause I I understand what you're saying and like I use word reference to occupation. I'm gonna look it up on uh, what I use is dictionary.com for words in English. So I'm just gonna look it up real quick to double check because um, you you could be right and I just have never heard it before. Um, Okay, so here we go. So this is this is the occupation that you're thinking of. So um, <clears throat> the act of occupying, the state of being occupied. So possession, settlement, the use of land or property. So good. So here it mentions nothing of military, but that doesn't mean you can't use it as the possession, um, uh, like by the military. So that's perfectly okay. So. Um, so here, um, his wife gets killed by the occupation forces. So you could use that technically, occupation forces, Samir, but um, it's not as specific as like by the military that occupies the land. That's more specific. Okay. But okay. occupation forces, now I understand why you put that. So um, good job there. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have two minutes left. I don't Thank think we'll, we'll be able to get in another question. Um, does anybody have any questions either related to what we were writing? Okay. I am so sorry because I don't understand your question with you. Is um, me, me, I love, uh, is the first time with you because I don't write in. <laughs> Okay, this this was your first time for, for writing because me I am a uh, beginner. Oh, okay, okay. I think I don't know if I think this class was like kind of like intermediate level. I'm sorry about that, Jean Marc. Um, I would have written questions that were more for beginners, but um, so I'm I'm sorry about that. I didn't know. Um, but. There will be more classes for beginners to teach you how to write, um, and like from from the very basics. But thank you for telling me. Any? Hey Joe, when, yes. is, when is your next class? Your next class. Uh, the next class will be today. Tonight. In, um, yeah, well, to, to, today Tonight for me. in Spain. Tonight in Spain. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, it's at 4 p.m. MST. So, um, hold on, let me think. Uh, one, three. So it's in seven hours. Yeah, in seven hours. Oh. Mm. So, at, so at seven 6 hours. 6 p.m. here in Colombia. What time is it? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Wait, no, it can't be. 
No, no, back here in Colombia, you're an S-class. Oh, oh, okay, okay, now I understand. In Spanish, uh, 7, 5 a.m. Wow, 5 a.m., oh my gosh. <laughs> what were we going to say, Carlos? Oh, not, nothing. Here in Spain, the, in this in this class, this is at twelve, twelve oh, okay. at night. Oh, midnight. Oh, wow, that's late. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, any other questions before I go? Thank you. No. no? Thank you okay. very much. Good luck. No, thank you. Thanks, guys. If you guys have bye any. Bye. Um, questions or suggestions for future classes, please let me know on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Joe Verbling. Um, if there's something you didn't like about this class, um, something that you think I could do to make the class better, anything, any suggestions, complaints, uh, comments, anything, or if you guys simply want to ask a question or just keep in contact with me, you can like my Facebook page and message me. Diego, I still have to reply to your message, which I'm going to later today. Um, and Mika's been messaging me, and Jay's talked to me on there, so if any of you guys want to keep in contact with me, you can do it through the Facebook page. Otherwise, cool. thank you guys for coming. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye-bye.